Hey guys, it's Jam and I'm back with another video and today's video is how do they feel about you? So this is pile number one. We have um, a song, then the cards, and then just basically this leaf. For number two, we have a box. My dad gave it to me for Christmas. And then your song and your cards. And for three, we have this zodiac amulet type thing. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then for number four, we have your song and then the good old matchboxes. So, you know, pick which one resonates and let's get into the video. Guys, I didn't even wash my face today. Like, um, I don't know. Anyway, let's just get into the video. Um, so today's video is like I said, how do they feel about you? So, um, for part number one, you chose this leaf. Really glad. That's so awesome. So your song is Why Why by Kai Woods. So why why never thought these feelings would come back to me. Only fell in love when I had to leave. Love was the reason I had to leave. Told you that I loved you when you were half asleep. So this definitely could have been like a secret admirer or something like that. You know, someone that they didn't tell you that they loved you. And now they're coming back and now it's like, mm -mm -mm. Well, that's how they feel. They feel conflicted. They feel like um, they they tried so hard to move on from you and then you just came back. Or the feelings came back even if you guys were in, weren't in separation. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel like you guys might have definitely been in separation and then they came back to you. Or, um, yeah. So let's just get into what these cards mean. So here's the cards. Um, so you have the wait for me card. They feel like they need to wait for you or you need to wait for them. But I'm definitely getting a sense of irritation with the wait for me card. Like, wait for me. Uh, like that type of thing. Maybe one of you is trying to move on. And then um, someone just keeps coming back. And then it's like, why aren't you waiting for me? Like, wait for me. I told you to wait for me. Like that type of thing. With the reunion card, that is separation and then coming back together or just reigniting um, old emotions. This could have been a one night stand and like you guys got heated in the moment and then something happened or just not having a planned thing and regret so maybe you regret doing that or they regret doing that thing with you or not that they regret it but now because they did it now it's bringing up old emotions and um feelings like that and now it's kind of just like yeah why why the song why why like never thought these feelings would come back to me only fell in love when i had to leave Mm -mm -mm -mm. Those type of people that fall in love with what they can't have. That's what they feel. Um, yeah, maybe as soon as you move on, then they want you. As soon as they move on, then they you want them. Because it can be vice versa. Oh, also, um, let's get some thoughts that they are having right now. Wow. Okay, one more. Okay. So, you guys got, I can't describe this feeling I have with you. Waiting for you again. How many wait me, wait for me and wait for me? Like, okay. They feel like they're waiting for you. And they're just going to keep waiting. Let's dance to the silence. Oh my word. Guys. So, they honestly thought that they were over you, but then something happened, like, literally, like, a flame, like, you know, when you have a candle and you just light it, and all of a sudden, your whole room smells like that incense or whatever, like, that's the type of vibe that I'm getting. I haven't even read the rest of these cards, like, how do they feel about you? They feel like they can't describe, they, li they literally said, I can't describe this feeling I have for you. Let's dance to the silence, that's beautiful. And they told you they loved you when you were half asleep. So you probably aren't even aware of how much they actually care for you. Or they aren't aware of how much you care for them. With the five of... Let's see. I got some new... I feel like they're going to put the effort in for this relationship. And they feel like they really want to put in the effort. And with the eight of clubs... That's improvement. So maybe also with health. I feel like many of you guys might be sick actually. But um, 
maybe one of you guys like a mentally um not mentally i'm not saying challenge but i'm just like you guys are going through a lot mentally so maybe you should just check up on them make sure that they're okay or don't actually check up on them or maybe you should i don't, I don't know but um yeah but that also could mean the eight of clubs could just mean um a new way of doing things and a new way of looking at the situation because now they know that they have these feelings for you and now it's kind of just like the waiting game the hermit card because they're definitely i don't think that they're going to act on it right now but they'll improve how they treat you and yeah they'll try and improve how they treat you though with the two of clubs that's an invitation and advice so i feel like Oh, also, by the way, I'm always looking down because I literally do this improv too. Like, I don't look at the cards before I start. Like, yeah. But anyway, with the Two of Clubs, that's um, just basically partnership. And, okay, so the thing about the Two of Clubs is that is um, getting... So, say now you've, like, been manifesting and you've been asking for this person to come back and everything. And then they will come back, but maybe not in the way that you want them to. Because, like I said, they understand that they have feelings for you. But I don't know if they're going to act on it because they're doing a lot of waiting. Or you're waiting for them. And the two of clubs is basically just um, getting what you want, but with minimal disappointments. But they are going to be disappointments. So it's not going to be exactly how you want it, but it's going to be like, okay, I'll take what I can get type of thing. Because previously with the, you can't always get what you want. And then you get what you want, but now it's not everything that you want. Because you wanted the whole entire thing. You wanted the two of hearts, but this is the two of clubs. You wanted the relationship, and now this is... It's not there yet. It's not there yet. And then with the three of diamonds, that's like um, an expansion in love. So that just means basically um, an on and off relationship. So y'all probably on and off all the time. And it's just like, why, why? Kai Woods, why, why? Listen, listen to the song, guys. You pro I feel like you guys probably won't like the song. None of you guys like the song. But just listen to the lyrics, man. Like, I never thought these feelings would come back to me. I only fell in love when I had to leave. Love was the reason I had to leave. So they had to leave you because they loved you. And now they're probably coming back for the reunion because divine timing is important. And right person, wrong timing. That is literally what I'm getting for the first one so i really hope you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe tell me what you thought about it leave um other video suggestions down below and i will see you in the next one guys for number dos your so you picked this <clears throat> so your song is cardi b ring 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 okay let me sing it you don't know you don't hear my line no more. You don't make it ring, ring. I can't keep this on the low. Should I call first? I can't decide. I want to, but a bitch got pride. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm hype. Because this song is hype. Switching up is the shit I can't fuck with. Period. Are you dealing with the trash? Are you dealing with a piece of trash? Okay, no, I'm sorry. Probably not. You're probably not dealing with a piece of trash. But they feel trash. That's how they feel. They feel trashy. They feel shitty. You probably made them feel shitty. Look at dish. Look at dish. Look at dish. Look at dish. So you know when someone makes you feel shitty because you want them so bad, but it's like, why aren't you doing the most then? Why aren't you calling me? Why aren't you blowing up my phone? Why aren't you buying me drinks? Why aren't you that type of stuff? Why aren't you taking care of me? Why aren't you being my daddy? Period. So with these cards... How do they feel about you? They feel like they want to have an exclusive relationship with you. Or this could just be coming into partnership with you. But that means like moving in together or just um, being monogamous. But just is just exclusively letting the other person how they feel and letting them know. Because you see with this song, it says, should I call first? I can't decide. I want to, but a bitch got pride. So definitely one of you guys is prideful. And they feel like they want to let you know that you're the only one and that they wouldn't like do you like that. They wouldn't do you dirty like that. That's what I'm getting. But you always switch it up. And now it's kind of like they're feeling like a bit like, I can't tell like what type of person you are. Like, do you want me? Do you not want me? Because if you do, put a ring on it. Or ask me out on a date. I feel like this person might have left you because you have the I'm coming back card. So they left you. 
basically because they needed to recuperate their thoughts i feel like and the i need answers so they wanted to find the answers by themselves maybe they're gonna go around and just like go around and they're gonna come back to you and then they're gonna put a ring on you because i feel like this person might be really hopeful and wishful because they're the type of person that have rose colored glasses like they said in bojack horseman where um they just think that everything like life is a movie and that everything can just like turn out how it is because they're super wishful and hopeful about this because they feel like yeah like i'm gonna come back for her i love her sorry i'm saying her i love this person and this is just a wish fulfillment maybe it's your wish and their wish coming true and if that's what you want also them to come back it's gonna happen but they're just gonna do their thing first and then they're gonna come back because I feel like they need to go through this sort of drastic change, the same change that you went. Because they feel like you changed so much. And they admire it and they appreciate it and they love you. They do love you. They do. Okay, maybe not love, but they, okay, no, I'm pretty sure they love you. And they feel like they need to be on the same level as you because you might be on a higher level than them. So with the coming back, they're like, okay, I need to go get my shit together so that we can get together you need to get your shit together so we can get together speedy bum 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 that thing so then with the nine of spades that's disappointment i feel like this person might have too much rose colored glasses because they think that if they just leave you you're gonna be waiting for them but you have pride or they have pride so they feel like maybe you could have left them and that you're just going to be waiting for them. But it's like, you're going to be disappointed by that, fam. Because that's not going to happen. Unless I see the ring on my finger and unless you change. So this is how you feel towards them, how they feel towards you. So they feel like unless you change and you put a ring on their finger or by a ring, you know, that's a metaphorical ring. Just like commitment or stepping up to the plate type thing. Then, or you might just, they might be just disappointed with the whole entire relationship. Because it's kind of like... Okay, let me see, let me see. What thoughts are they having? So this is a few things I wrote down. Oh, wow, that just, oh. Sexual energy that just popped out. Okay, then. So they're finna, finna smash. Because they want you, fam. They want you. But they're just, I'm not seeing any effort. I'm not seeing any effort here. Do you like hurting me? See, that's literally probably how you're feeling. You just feel like, oh, they feel like you're just hurting them. And it's like, if you guys both love each other, why aren't y'all together? Bitch got pride. That's why. Whoa, that was a lot. Okay, let me just see this one. I'm scared you're lying to me. So they could be scared that you're lying to them. And they just don't know how to deal with this right now. So they're going to literally go into hermit mode. And they're just going to go by themselves. But um, how do they feel about you? They feel like they want you. They need you. And they're just scared about their emotions and how they feel about you, you know. Because it might be really overwhelming for them. But um, if you guys are together already, then I will say that y'all okay. But I mean, maybe they should just try and step up to the plate more. Because it feels like... A lot of stagnancy, 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 whatever. Because you know, Cardi B, she's always like talking about, I want my mans, I want my mans, blah, 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 blah. But then it's like, does her mans want her back though? Because she all over her man, and her man be buying her drinks and stuff. But we know what Offset be doing. And if you don't understand what that means, because this is like young people terminology, I apologize. But yeah, that's basically how they feel about you. So, you know... They're scared about their emotions and they really want to smash and they have too much pride if they call, if they haven't come forward yet. They have a lot of pride but they want to be exclusive with you and they want to come back to you and everything but they just need to get their shit together for the most part because somebody has an ego problem. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Not that Geminis have an ego problem or anything but um, that just like screamed Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. In case any of those resonate. For number three, you chose the Zodiac thing image. So your song is Neo Mad. She's staring at me. I'm sitting wondering what she's thinking. Nobody's talking because talking turns into screaming and we don't even remember why. We're fighting. We're both mad for nothing, fighting for nothing, but we, we won't let it go for nothing. The song is super old school. 
Okay, it's not that old school. Okay, sorry guys. That sounded like so millennial saying old school. Like, it's not that old school. It's like from the 2000s. But anyway, um, yeah, so they feel like you guys are always fighting and screaming. Um, let me sit down. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They feel like you guys are always fighting and screaming, but they wouldn't like go for nothing. Um, they're mad. They're mad because they're so in love with you and they could never let you go. Period. With the soulmate card clarified by the soulmate card. So they feel like you are their soulmate. And they basically just love you. They love you so much. It's cute. It's cute. With the ace of diamonds, that is basically written communication. Maybe they want to write you a letter to tell you how they feel. And just the beginning of a new relationship. I feel like this could be new or it could be a long-standing relationship. Let's see if we have the full... Okay, no, you don't. Okay, but yeah, anyway... They want to take you out on dates. They just want to love you and hold you. And they really, honestly, they feel so much for you. Like, wow. You could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. So, Cancer, um, Pisces, Scorpio, or air sign, Gemini. Um, okay, I'm not going to even go with it. You know what the air sign and water signs are. With the five of dime, with the hearts. Because remember, the song is mad. So it's like, you guys are fighting and everything, you know. So maybe you guys could be separated right now. But that's not how they feel. You know, because people don't always act on their feelings. They could be feeling a whole certain way. And they just be being mad and being shouting and not talking to you. So I'm not saying that's what's happening. But if that is what's happening right now. Yeah. Also, Virgo. For some reason. I don't know. This thing's pointing at Virgo. No, this is Scorpio. You guys can't see. Anyway, so then with the five of hearts, that's the separator card. But it's putting in good effort. I feel like you guys could be separated, but they're trying to put the effort in to stop fighting with you. And for you guys to just compromise more. And with the nine of clubs, that is desires. I feel like they just want you and all of you. And yeah, let's see what thoughts they're having. Some thoughts. Wow, they're definitely dreaming about you. That's what just came out, dreaming about you. What else? I feel like they really don't want you to know, though. They do not want you to know. Come hold me. They want you to hold them. You know, cancers love it. And and um, a science, they love cuddling. I mean, water and a science love cuddling. Okay, I'm going to literally read both of these cards because they both came out. Why did you go? So you guys definitely could be in separation. And let's snuggle up, let's snuggle up and watch a movie. So they honestly just want to have a date night and maybe like a chill date night. And um, come hold me. They just want your presence, honestly. Like even if you guys aren't talking, they just want to be with you and hold you. And um, go on dates with you. And they don't want to fight with you, basically. And that's how they feel. They feel like you guys... Um, and they feel like you're their soulmate. That was a sweet reading. Super sweet. For number uno, dos, tres, cuarto. For number cuarto, I really hope I did not just... What's that word when you butcher it? I hope I didn't butcher that. I'm so sorry. So you picked the matchbox. So your song is... Derez Deshaun. I want to believe you. When you say you love me, when I tell you I love you, tell me, do you believe it? Do you want me for my money or do you need me? I gave you my, if I gave you my heart, would you take it and leave me? Guys, I don't speak English well. And English is my first language. Sad life. Maybe this person also can't speak English. I'm not saying that this person it wrote it wrong. I'm just saying I can't speak right now for some reason. I just feel super tongue-tied. So they probably feel tongue-tied when they're with you. Anyway, or oh, they could be a Leo also because, like, that's the lion. Or Aquarius. Or, I don't know. But anyway. Wow. How do they feel about you? Fam, fam, take a seat. Let me tell you how they feel about you. 
Honestly, I feel like I need a cup of coffee for this because this is so annoying. These types of people. So, you know, okay, so this person is basically saying, I want to believe you when you say you love me. So this person probably tells you that they love you or you tell them that they love you, but then they're still like, I don't think you love me, I don't think you want me, blah, 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 that type of thing. And they think that you want them for your money or you want them for their money or that type of thing. And definitely just a miscommunication and not understanding how you guys both see each other. Because you guys both see each other in the picture. And you guys are both willing to basically give yourself over to them. But now, for some reason, you guys don't want to talk about that. Because with the king, you have a king of hearts and a king of diamonds. And you have the queen of um, diamonds. So obviously, these are awesome, passionate lovers, soulmate cards. This could be a comic cycle. But um, basically, you are perfect for each other. And this person wants to have a relationship with you, an exclusive relationship with you. Um, not exclusive, I mean they want to engage with you. They basically just want to be with you and you only. And they want to believe you and they want to see you for who you really are. Because they see you as such an amazing and loving person. And they'd be so lucky to get you, basically. The Queen of Empress, you know. The Queen of Diamonds is basically just... They're amazing person. They just, they're sophisticated, they're loving, they're kind, they have their coins together. Even if they don't have their coins together, they probably do though. But they just basically, um, yeah, you know, they're great. But I'm getting a sense of holding back a lot of emotions because kings, they can feel a lot and they can fight a lot for things. But unless you have the effort card, unless you have like someone putting in the effort, let me see, let me see. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So this person wants to come forward and tell you how they feel. Because I feel like they might be holding it in a lot. And they just don't want to tell you because they feel like you're so amazing and you're so great. And you have the yes card. And also this date is still up. So they want to ask you on a date from the previous reading. And yeah, I feel like they just hold their emotions in. And they could be older than you also. And they want to communicate how they feel about you also. But the thing is, they just think that you, you could be playing them though. And the thing about kings is, they got a lot of pride. So sometimes they don't come forward, even though they want to. But apparently, the cards say that they're going to come forward. But I know people. Some people don't come forward. Okay, so their thoughts, let's see... Uh, let's see. So, you have talk is cheap. Let me look into your eyes so I can see. So you can see my soul. Damn. I feel like this person loves looking at you and just staring at you. Because you have a lot of eyes here. Look at all these eyes just watching. All watching the queen. They're all watching the queen. And then the queen watches the king. Maybe this could be a third party situation also. As you can see, someone looking, everybody looking, nobody looking at themselves, nobody look at the self, trying to find fault in other people, but you don't want to find the fault in yourself. If this person thinks that you're playing them, maybe they're playing themselves. Ever thought about that, fam? There's a fine line between love and hate. That's honestly how they're feeling. That's accurate towards this. You make me smile, I love you. So obviously they can't deny the feelings that are there. And I feel like there's a lot of trying to cover up how they actually feel. And I hope you turn out to be different. This person is honestly holding out hope that you're not going to be like all the other person that played them. The person that just took their heart and ran away. So they hope that you're not going to be like that. And that's basically how they feel towards you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave other video suggestions down below. And I will see you in the next one.